Hi everyone! Annyeong haseyo, yorobun, konnichiwa, minasan, daja hao, hola a todos. Hello everyone, sarika, tokyong. K pop kitty here with K pop kingdom. And K pop kitsu here. So today is feisty feline. Yep. And yes, claws are out in this segment, except that for certain reasons we won't be as feisty per usual. Mm hmm. Apple juice. juice. <laughs> Um, so we have a segment coming out tonight for Drunken Reacts, and yeah, let's leave it at that. So, today we're going to be discussing Sasang fans. The crazies of the K-pop world. And so, I'm going to give you an actual definition. Yes, I have a K-pop dictionary, don't judge me. <laughs> Uh, noun, overly obsessive fan. The overly obsessive fans who engage in outrageous and even dangerous behavior towards their idols, including stalking them and breaking into their homes. They are compared to stalkers and peeping toms. So, yes, if you have not checked this out, mm -hmm. no, I'm not being paid. If they want to pay me, they can. No. Yes. <laughs> One and I have two yep. in front of me. So, anyways, we bought these. We're going to be doing another segment later Very down the road. <laughs> Once we've got this on a roll. So, anyways, Sasang fans. So, if you go anywhere online and YouTube, Twitter. Google, yeah, and look up Sasang fans, you can see all kinds of interesting, interesting stories. Um, horrifying, awful God awful stories. Um, the type that make you want to double check your doors and windows. Mm -hmm. So, idols have been subjected to crazy behavior for as long as idols have existed, and it seems like more and more fans keep developing these excessive tendencies. And there have been stories of, I mean, people trying to kidnap people, people breaking into people's houses and stealing stuff, or installing hidden cameras, or stealing their stuff from hotels here recently, 24K. Mm -hmm. uh, Showing up at family functions like weddings. Mm -hmm. um, harassing them in airports here recently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so uh, Causing accidents. Mm -hmm. uh, there's been a couple incidents of that. They are chasing after the idols in their vehicle and, yeah, end up causing an accident and then the idol's injured and it's crazy and I just don't understand it. Um, so if you've never done research on Sasang fans, you should really check it out. And I do actually want to do a longer segment on this, but this is just my rant. But there's a lot of information about how they actually work and how they network together. Um, and they work in credit card companies and cell phone companies and stuff so that they're able to get idols' credit card numbers and their cell phone numbers and they're able to exchange information with other Sasang fans and it's this network of crazy information and complete invasion of privacy, completely absurd. But my rant, while it is also on the behavior of Sasang fans and the treatment of these idols, also goes into some of the fans that claim to not be saucing fans, who claim to be normal fans, who honestly act like a mild saucing fan. So my issue is with people, and we're going to go back to this Pentagon issue, and I don't mean to keep bringing it up, but everybody has turned it into this person from this company is dating this person from this company and this actor is dating this person and this singer is dating this singer and it's just gotten absurd and it all goes back to the Pentagon Edon Huna scandal. Um, saucing fans to me are anybody who would purposely harm an idol pretty much because they don't get what they want from that idol. And so for people to try and get somebody fired because they don't like the behavior of the idol, honestly seems like a mild form of a saucing fan to me. And I don't know if you agree with that sentiment. I do. That's actually, the behavior is very similar to the early, they're like baby saucing fans. 
So doing the little things that slowly start escalating to some of those big stories that we've heard. And they say otakus were bad. I mean, I just, to me, if you love your idol, you love them. And I can't seem wanting to ruin their career over a dating decision that they made or anything of the like. So to me, that's an extreme fan or an anti-fan as opposed to a true fan of Pentagon or anybody else. If you ultimately end up trying to sabotage them because you didn't get your way. It's the same thing as a child throwing a tantrum in a candy store because their mother wouldn't get them something. And that's honestly the way I see it. And I've asked for Korean fans, K-fans, even though I don't feel like it's all K-fans. But everybody's splitting it into this K-fans, international fans, I-fans dispute. But I've asked for somebody to please explain it to me because I'm not trying to be judgmental at all. I would like for you to be able to explain it in a way and I understand. But everybody that's come back with even the smallest attempt at explanation has ultimately made my case more towards them being minor saucing fans. Because it's like, well, we spend all this money on them. Okay, that's not an argument. That is, I spent a lot of money on them too. I did not get all these things on my wall without spending money, believe you me. Um, I do giveaways to promote these bands and stuff, and I spend my own money on that. And so I spend a lot of money. I have stacks and stacks of albums that I could hold up as Kitsu knows. Um, mm-hmm. And I buy stuff like the books to educate myself and to understand. So it's not about money. You don't own an idol just because you spend money on them. And I feel like any fan who would put their idol, their idol, through that kind of treatment is not a fan. fan. That's not a fan at all. Some of the behavior, like she said, really does border on anti-fan behavior. Mm -hmm. So this need to sabotage. So... Anyways, that's my vent for this week. Um, Like I said, I want to do a longer segment on Sasang fans. Maybe go over some of the videos that I've seen of um, Sasang fans acting the way they do in airports, etc. And yeah, that's all I have. Yep, that's all I've got too, guys. Treat your idols with love. And some respect and dignity. And love. Lots of love. Lots of love. Wait, 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 wait. How did he, how did Lucas do it? Little heart, big heart. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, anyways. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.